on fire. She's on fire. She got me on fire. We on fire. welcome or welcome back to my channel today I'm here with this New Year's Eve makeup look now let me just talk to you about this look um the eyes are very um, cool tone for me I used all cool tones in this look cool tone palettes and I just wanted to say this green that I added right here you don't got to do all that if you want to achieve this look just do your own thing I just did the green because I'm thinking about the money and I'm still in the holiday vibes I just want to say goodbye to the holidays in 2016 also I just want to say thank you guys so so much for 5k subscribers my goal for the end of the year was 3,000 we crushed that and now I'm currently at let me check on live counts hold on a second Currently at 5,153 subscribers. Shout out to you guys. You guys are the best. I have so much coming in this year of 2017. I can't wait to do it. And I just need you guys to bear with me and be on board. Sorry, that was my boyfriend. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay? All right. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this look. And don't forget to hit me with the like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the rest of the video. This is kind of like a simple New Year's makeup tutorial and today I'm going to be using this palette that I got for Christmas. This is my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. It's the ultimate basics palette, sorry. And this is a cool tone palette. As you guys know, I am with cool tones, but I'm going to make it work. As you can see, I did with this eye. And then I'm going to use my Kylie Cosmetics Holiday Edition palette, okay? So first I'm going to go in with the amazing famous MAC soft ochre paint pot and I'm just going to apply that lightly to the lid and make sure I distribute it evenly. Then I go in with this pointed foundation brush from Real Techniques. It's really dense and it's um, easy to buff thick product out and this soft ochre paint pot is definitely thick. Now I'm taking my IT Cosmetics fluffy brush with the shade Extra Bitter. It's an orangey shade, but it's definitely cool tone, and I'm going to apply this to the outer crease. Just keep applying generously till you get your desired look. Then I'm going to go in with this shade called Blow. I'm going to pop this on my brow bone to make it pop, basically. Then I'm going to buff it out a little bit so it's not too harsh. After I've done that, I'm going in with the shade Lethal, and this is like a nice plum purple and I'm going to apply that on the outer corners generously I'm going to buff it out higher into the crease now I'm going to just clean up the lid with the excess soft ochre paint pot that I had on this brush I'm just going to clean it up don't want nothing too fancy just clean it up I'm going to go in with the shade nudie and blow pop that on the lid on the half by the way, that's not all those two colors from the Basics palette. It's like um, excess from this. I'm going in with the shade Frosty for my Kylie palette, and I'm going to apply that. Now, this shade is amazing. Definitely silver. You guys know I'm a gold girl. But this is so pigmented and pretty that I just had to use it. It reminds me of just like Winter Wonderland, just holiday. So if it gets a little messy, it's okay. I like for some of my looks to be messy. But then I'm gonna go back with this Morphe 514 brush and blend these two shades into each other so we don't have any harsh harshness going on. Letting the silver take over more so of the lid. Then I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera and then come back with lashes and finish the face. Okay, so I already went in with foundation before I even started filming and I went in with my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Hydrating Foundation and I mixed that with a little bit of my Lancome Taint Idol Foundation and for the Lancome, I am in the color 460 
Sue W or Suede W. And then for the Smashbox, I'm in the color 4.0. Now I'm going to proceed with using my Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer. And I just got some eyeliner on my eyelid. I'll fix that later. But this is in the color dark. I'm like running really low on it because this stuff is so good. I'm only going with this under the eyes because I want to have a nice coverage and I want it to be natural. So I go in with the color that's like my skin color first and then I gradually up and go lighter. But now I'm going to go in with my NYX Creamy Radiant or Radiant Creamy in the color caramel. This is about to be done for too to be honest. All my good high-end concealers are about to be done. Taking my NYX concealer in the color tan. Love this concealer. It's an amazing drugstore concealer. So amazing. Want some full coverage for this New Year's occasion. You know what I mean? Because at my church, it'd be hot and sweaty and... Don't want my makeup going nowhere since we're gonna be up until midnight. With 2017 approaching, I promise I'm gonna get a new contour thing, but for now, since I discovered this in 2016, we gonna end it. You know what I mean? And this is my Real Technique sculpting brush. Just sculpting. <laughs> Make sure you blend it into the hairline. So you don't look four different colors. So for this look, I'm gonna go in with my Cody Airspun because I haven't used this in a while. Just because I have other setting powders and I just forget about it. This honestly smells like baby powder. And guys, I haven't been using a beauty blend. Who that's strong. Let me wait for this powder to fade. <coughs> I know I look crazy and don't nobody need to tell me right now. This one is easier to distribute though. Like, it doesn't make like a harsh line as you're distributing it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. As I was saying, the reason why I haven't been using a beauty blender is because my eyes have just not been liking the moist, damp beauty blender in my eyes. My eyes always seem to water, so I'm giving my eyes a break with that and using dry brushes. Yeah, so just wanna let you guys know that. So now I'm taking my trusty BH Cosmetics contour palette and setting all those contour areas. And guys, I like to let my bake sit for a while because I do have a lot of fine lines in my face, especially my smile lines. <laughs> guys, this whole time I forgot about this eyelash that dried on my makeup desk. So now I gotta put glue on it all over again. I'm tripping. Now I'm going to take my Morphe E2 brush and sweep that all away. Probably let that sit for a good 10, 12 minutes. I know that's kind of a weird number, 12, but I'm, I know you can see this white cast and that's kind of my pet peeve with this Cody Airspun, but I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it, I promise. Now, if you ever encounter where it looks like you have a white cast or like you look ghostly, just take some MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And in this case, I'm taking my Morphe E38 and I'm going to apply that everywhere. I bake basically with that so that it comes back to looking like skin again. I'm going to switch over brushes real quick and use my Real Techniques Contour Brush. It has like a nice tip to get under the eye and that's where, you know, we experience that issue the most, so I'm just getting into there really good. Now I'm going to take my new blush that I just recently picked up. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon, and this is in the color Mellow Wine. It's kind of like a peachy pink. I'm taking my Real Techniques Blush Brush and applying that to the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna be a little bit more generous than I would with blush with this, because I like the peach finish. And just for a little bit more pop, I'm going in with Max Raisin. Now for under the eye, I really want it to pop. And I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. Ooh, this palette is so gorgeous. The packaging, can we just talk about? And the colors. It's just so gorgeous. And I want to go in with the green. I just want a pop of green 
um for it being the holidays and just saying goodbye to the holidays and I want to make money in 2017 so I'm gonna just probably go in with that green let's see how it look I'm taking this Kylie pointed um pencil brush yeah I really like that green you can't really tell but it's like a really nice mustard grass not mustard it's like a really grass green I'm feeling that really wish I had a green eyeliner because then I could have just did that then I'm going to take this Morphe 514 and just blend out the edges now I'm going to spray my face with some Mario Badescu and some Urban Decay in a second then take my Urban Decay Makeup Chill Going to make it look like skin again. Now I'm going in with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. It broke, it's in shambles. And I'm going to go where the light hits. Yeah, I know I love highlighter. Mm -hmm. Come through. So now I'm gonna go in with my NYX lip pencil in the color Cabaret. Cabaret. I just never like red lipstick on me. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with this Leo from Kylie Cosmetics. You wanna know something? If you stay throughout the whole video, shout out to you. You the realest. I appreciate you. You loyal and I just love you, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I can't stop saying that because you guys are just amazing. Y'all show love on the snap, on the gram and on here so I can't wait to see you guys in my next upload don't know if this is my last video for 2016 but if it is happy new year you know happy holidays and I wish you all the best and let's continue to grow together and just you know build a family and with that being said I'll see you guys next time love you Mwah. bye so today I'm back with a video with my boyfriend and we gonna do this whisper challenge. I don't know how good Jonathan is with reading lips, but we about to figure it out. Hot on my watch. <laughs> now I'm adding it. <laughs> it's a call that back. Come and pass it in. It be happening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your happiness. Stop. Okay. Okay. Let me think of what to say.